channel and video super useful. And if you do, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. In today's lesson, you're going to learn how to hold the French horn like a pro. So let's dive straight in. You'll need your French horn. Now where did I put mine? So where do we put our left hand? So the first thing you're going to do with your left hand is place it around the main valve pipe here. Some horns will have a thumb valve and some horns won't. If yours does, you guessed it, you just put your thumb here. Next, you put your fingers on the valves here. And lastly, some French horns have a pinky holder here. So we just hook our little finger in there. If your horn doesn't have one, then don't worry. You would just add your pinky to these three fingers here and just curl it around this main valve part here. So your left hand should look like this. Pause the video now and check that left hand position. So now the left hand's sorted, what do we do with our right hand? So the first thing you need to do is make a scoop with your right hand. So imagine you're going to pour some water in and you don't want any water to escape through the gaps here. But don't actually. Next, we take that scooped right hand and turn it 90 degrees. So we take it from here to here. So my knuckles are facing this way. Next, we take our scooped 90 degree hand and we put it into the bell like this. So you'll notice that my knuckles are on the right side of the inside of the horn, just like this. So it's very important that you keep these knuckles on this side of the horn. But why? This is because when you're playing the horn, you're blowing the air in here, it's circulating around, the beautiful sound that you hear comes out of this part of the horn here. So when we put our scooped 90 degree hand into our bell and we don't keep it on this side, if it creeps over like this, it will block all the air. So the beautiful sound will not be able to get out and it might sound a little bit like this. When actually we want it to sound like this. Pause the video now and check that right hand position. So let's do our right hand recap. First, make a scoop with your right hand. Secondly, turn that hand 90 degrees so your knuckles are facing out this way. Next, put that scooped 90 degree hand into your bell, keeping it on the right hand side so this airway is nice and open. So now we know where to put our left and right hands to hold the horn. Let's learn how to hold the horn while we're playing. First of all, make sure while you're standing or sitting up straight that you bring the horn up to you, rather than you going down to the horn and slouching. This is because when you're sitting or standing up straight, you can breathe more air into the horn, which will make a better sound. And secondly, we want a nice firm grip on the horn around your left hand, but not so tight that it's making your arm ache or hurt. A great tip for beginners is while you're having your lessons, you're probably going to be sat down. Make sure once you're not playing that you rest the horn on your lap to give your hands a break. Thank you for watching this video on the Brass Teacher today. If you found it helpful, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. So whether you're a beginner or looking to improve your technique, make sure you hit subscribe to stay up to date with all my